Okay, quick guided tour. This is uh, the Hoo Peninsula and also the, uh, particular, the Isle of Grain, uh, where my friend Vic Doe lives, uh, who was just a lad when the Liberator came down. See at the top of the map, there you've got the River Thames, that's coming out from London, and River Medway, just below, coming out from Rochester and down that area. Now grain, Old English, it means gravel. So you get the picture, all these areas are really, really flat. So if you were trying to um, trying to land a, a disabled liberator coming in from the North Sea, you'd have plenty to choose from. But in reality, it came down here at Cold Arbor, at the farm there. You can see from the contours, it's a relatively high area for the area. It's about, uh, about 40 meters above sea level, which is quite high for, for grain. Um, so the question is, if he was in trouble, the P-51D, he'd asked him to give him a pointer, to give him a landfall. P-51 rocked his wings and let him in. So it's interesting because I tried out a theory, because if you were coming in from the North Sea and you couldn't see anything else, what is a big landmark is that thing, the Green Tower. Now that's a Victorian gun fort, it's like an old Martello Tower, fend off the French of course. Um, that was built on in the first second world war to be anti-aircraft batteries as well so it's quite a tall object now my theory i wanted to test out was if you put a straight line from that tower way down across here to a place called riverview park which is in uh, gravesend as you can see what i found out is um, riverview park where i used to go swimming turns out to be the old raf gravesend so if we put a line on that and follow that back between the two points, so between the Martello Tower, if you took the bearing off there to get yourself to RAF Gravesend, that would take you right over Cold Arbour. So my guess is the P-51 told him to use the Green Tower landmark, he took a bearing off that, but basically came down five miles short of RAF Gravesend.